to my channel. So, since it is the new year, which means a new project pan is going to start. This is going to be my yearly 2020, 2024. Oh my god. I can't even say it. But yeah, this is the intro to my 2024 yearly project pan. This is something that I do every year. I've been doing this for years and all that. I know people got different versions and everything and they do different ways but me I pick out products that I want to use throughout the year some are older collections some that need to be used are almost done empty and stuff I get through now last year in 2023 I'll actually link my playlist all that you guys miss that and everything and miss what I put in that year or what I finished and all that I went through it all um, I didn't put that much on this list. I did add maybe three things, but it's an actually simple, easy thing. Um, the thing about this is that once I finish a product, I will, will be replaced this. I do update every two months, so the next will be in March, and I will add products because, like I said, it's a yearly one. It's not ones that I do three to four months and then have to switch to a different one like the single pan I have. So let's go ahead and get into it. I quickly get into it before I change batteries, like always. But I decided to do two primers. One I think I'm literally almost done. And a lot of stuff I have on my face. So a lot of it will be down in the scripture box. Everything I'm wearing will be down there, including all the project pan stuff that I have in here. Um it will have like a little star above the ones on project pans one not but most of the stuff i have will be talking about is on my face um so the first one is this one by milani this is a very not really old but the older primers that they came out with um this i have a feeling is going to be almost done i could barely well i get some out but it's starting to have like um air bubbles and and all that so it's what it look like it's very smoothing chill like I said chill primer it has like that cooling effect which I do like silicone frame which I also like it has red oak extra is cinnamon and silicone free so so I put that on there um, the next one is the bare mineral combo control now, the reason I put this stuff in here because it worked for me throughout the season. So when spring comes and summer and all that and my skin, well, we'll see what this year brings. The last year was always up and down, only not only dry combo. It, apparently last year could make up its mind. So this, I like to put products in I use throughout the season, no matter what it is. It's not like my seasonal project pan where I put certain product in there for that season because I know it'll work that season, it, all that. So, yeah, so this is it. Again, it's not very visible. Um, I am thinking about getting a little weigh machine when I get my tax money because this will, st these, this will, like I said, be going all year long. So, I will possibly get this done. This is more like a milky consistency type base. It's supposed to balance and everything so yeah only put in one foundation which this is very good because I can't mark it down so this is my latch project pan so this is where I'm starting um you can see I did I'm originally starting here like a little bit above this line so you guys will see lines on this show you where I am because this is more like a pump that pumps up but this is the cover girl plus Olay Simply Aegis I love this foundation it works for me no matter what the weather like. It's hydrating and all that. So I'm in the creamy uh, natural shade. But yeah, this is literally halfway done. And I went through something like this a while back. I think they repackaged it, it before. And this is kind of like the new bottle that they have now for it. But I really like CoverGirl and this line. Uh, Foxilla, only one. Like I said... I'm very not trying to have so much in this and I'll be right back my battery is 
going dead. Okay, like I was saying, I changed my battery, so I am back. Um, I was going through Xilla, so this is definitely going to be out. I am so close to be done. It's really hard for me to squeeze the project out. It's more a um, sponge, so I do have this on my eye. I actually do like supposed to have caffeine and it's supposed to wake up your under eyes and you look more awake. Um, I have mine in Lake Pell. If I do get this again, I might go a shade up because it's a little too light on me now. But I do like it. It doesn't crease on me, anything like that. And I am literally almost done with that. I didn't realize that I had just a little bit left. So this will definitely be done probably by the next, the first update or maybe the update after that. So yeah. Next is Say Powder. Only one. Have this again all over my face. I'm trying to get through my loose setting powders first, like I did, like I talked about in my last year um, video where I talked about how I want to get through more loose powders instead of pressed powders because they're very hard to get through and I have so much loose powders and they're more easier for me to get through because I like using loose powders sometimes, press, but mostly loose. But this is the Complete Culture. Um can't really see who I am but look like I am halfway done with this almost half it's a very good um powder it does has like a little mush but I feel like that it does keep my makeup on for a while and everything and I could touch up with it doesn't mean look cakey or dry anything like that so yeah um for say spray went through decided to go through my classic one that I love that's high end and all that, which is an Herb Decay All Nighter. This is travel size. Again, I have this on my face. Very lovely. One of my favorite high end sprays that I adore and first fell in love with when I first tried it. So, so I go back to Oldie to classic. Oldie, but goodie. Okay, next is Bronzer. Now with this category, the Bronda Blush and Highlight, I was decided to um, just do powder. But I'm like, okay, I really want to get through my creams. I have a whole bunch that I still went through. Some I'm still testing out. And I know more creams are coming out this year, 2024. So I need to get well on. So for um, the gel, I have both these on. I really do like this. This is the Face Bronze Off one. It is in Sweet Tea. Yeah. So this is a very good bronzer. It has a little bit of glow to it. So it's not shimmery. It doesn't got sparkle or anything like that. It's just one of those type of bronzers that's very easy to blend, buildable, and you could, and I love the color. And just give you like that glow like beside the normal highlight glow you got the glow here so my goal of course when it comes to liquid is to finish those are my goals so like the um, primers I want to finish the foundation I want to finish say spray I want to finish and cream products I want to finish when it comes to powder I'm more let's just hit the pan except for loose powders I want to finish but for the powder version, I have over the cream version is the Hanalili Halu, something like that, matte bronzer. And my goal is, of course, to hit pan. It's almost the same color, so a little bit lighter. But this is something that, again, very buildable. And you can actually build it up. Like, you can't hardly see. But it's not patchy or anything like that. So I like it for me to use. Then, of course, you guys, blush. Like I said, cream to powder. Cream powder and blush. I have actually. Oh, yeah. I do have the other one, the. Is my other of course I have this one which is the face blush off again very beautiful this is the color that I bought 
This is in Born Yesterday. Same concept. Buildable, blendable, beautiful. Love it. Um, just one of those peaky type tones, which I do like. And then for blush, try to compare and try to get close to the color. But I decided to do this one, the Elf, the OG Elf blush and all that they are having some new blush products i did order some new elf stuff so i am going to do try on new elf products part two three or uh, i think this is my third time or second like time a uh, third time so it'll be part three i'm trying some new elf products along with the ones that they came out last year 2023 so yeah i'll be using old and some new but I love elf I love try elf you guys know favorite drugstore product favorite drugstore brand so got this one this is very beautiful this come almost close to it but not quite it's more like a brownie neutral pinky type tone and you can see this one is very like pinky um bubblegum type one which is beautiful I blend it out so it works for me so yeah and then for highlight we have the Milani one I decided to put the Milani liquid highlight which you see on my face now I did not add any powder highlight so all this highlight you see right here is from this this is beautiful I love it it's blendable I have it in Luna and this is very good. This I feel like it's almost out too. That's just how I feel. Like I said, I use these cream products as much as I can just to make sure that it works and all that. And I really do like it. So this is the Luna one. Like again, very beautiful, blendable, works for my skin. I love the glow, I love the highlight, and it just works for me. For the powder version of it, it is the Wonder Beauty one. So like I said, I could have put the ColourPop in, which I don't want to do. I've used that plenty. I hit pan on both. So I'm just going to see... If I can finish it without paying a project pan and all that. So I keep it on my desk. And I love these. One of my favorite cream highlights of all time. Um, so yeah. For the powder person is the Wonder Beauty After Hour. So it's called Wonder Beauty Wonder Glow. And it's in the shade After Hour. And of course you guys know it's hit pan. This is still beautiful, creamy, blendable, looks, oh, like, that is like kind of out of space type one. So, as you can see through the light, how beautiful it is. And so, this is small, I wanted to go for something that's kind of small that possibly have the opportunity to hit the pan and all that. Because I love wearing highlight. And I guarantee you, once I went out of the Milani one, this will be the good option. And I can mix them together and put this on top of it and make it even more glowy and everything. So, it works out. Now, the two things I did add, of course, like I said, the liquid to the bronzer highlight. I mean, the powder to the bronzer highlight blush. So, like I said, I have a liquid and a powder version. The only two things I did or add, I do all the list and get away for this video to tell you guys what I decided to put in the 2024 Project Pan. Um, I decided to add at least a single shadow and a liquid eyeshadow. Because again, I have more liquid type products, blushes, face products, eye products. So like I said, this is the way me is to... Plus, these are very good to use one at a time. Um, the one I have is this one right here, which was in my 2023 project pan. 
decided to keep it out because again it's beautiful like it's a literally a beautiful one look eyeshadow and i figured these will be perfect for one look eyeshadow especially since this one i need i want to finish this is something that been project pan that i literally had used several times and i tapped this over the other one it is the ace beauty beauty shimmery shadow look I hit pan, I'm almost at the side pan. My goal with this is to actually finish it. I don't have that much left and I have a whole year to get through this. So I know this is something that I've used as a one look eyeshadow. I pair with palettes, I pair with other stuff. It is great no matter what. It's still creamy, still blendable, still works. So I enjoy this and I have another one, it's called Ice Latte, but I figured since I am more pro progress on this, yeah. Okay, so the other liquid, this that's the um, single eyeshadow, this is the liquid version of the eyeshadow. This I also love, this is by Lucky Chicks in its rose crack. You can see I already have a window right there. I, I don't know that means I'm almost out or getting close of being done with it. But I still have a lot to go. And this is the most beautiful. It's like a little palette. So, yeah. Still creamy. Beautiful. Again, another one look eyeshadow. And I did not put no lips products, eye products, uh, eyebrows, anything like that in this project pan. Like I did in my 2023. 2023, I put in my all my Maybelline lip glosses. But I'm like... I'm not going to do any lip products this year. It just, will I say I, like, for me, like I said, I don't want to make up that much. I only wanted to film, only want for special occasions. Like, the day I'm filming this is Christmas Day. So, you guys see the Christmas shirt. I have my little earrings. So, yeah, that's as far as I go when it comes to putting makeup on. Because, like I said, I work five days in a row. I hardly wear makeup. I wear makeup Christmas Eve, um, 2023. And that's because it was a special occasion. So, no fact, I know hardly ever wear makeup, including lip products. I decided to just not to put them in there. It's just too much hassle. But, yeah, this is that right there. As you can see, it is so beautiful. And it blends down. I mean, like I said, that is a beautiful one look eyeshadow. So yeah, that is everything I put in my 2024, about what do you say, 2023. Um, 2024 Project Pan. Like I said, the next, the first update will be in March of 2024. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy seeing everything I put in, everything I decided to use, try to use up, finish all that. Um, you guys do any project pan for this year, please comment down below. Tell me what you want to use up, what you want to finish. You know, what's the oldest in collection that you need to get out, need to use, and everything. And just tell me all. I would love to hear from you guys. And by the way, I want to thank you for uh, viewers who are subscribing to my channel, who are watching my channel, who are enjoying my channel, and all that. I am literally so close of being halfway to a hundred subscribers so if I can get my goal for 2024 is to at least get close to that because I know if I get close to a hundred I'm on my way <laughs> to getting more and more subscribers like I said they ain't the reason why I'm doing this channel just get subscribers but I appreciate it you guys are the reason why I keep doing what I do. You guys are the reason why I enjoy what I do. And I am glad you guys are enjoying my content. Enjoy what I'm filming. Enjoy what I'm talking about. All that. Give me ideas what you guys want to see in this year. I'm trying to figure out some new videos. So I'm doing the same old, same old. But, um, tell me what you guys want to see. What you want me to talk about. Things like that. I will be getting some new makeup this year. I will be trying a lot new out. My goal is to do more trying new makeup, more testing, more um, just different videos, you know, new spin, a new um, all that. So, like I said, hope you guys enjoy. See when I brought in. 
comment down below, all that, give it a thumbs up, and make sure you guys hit the notification bell, and then we guys know I upload every weekend. And I hope you have a lovely day and a lovely Christmas, since you guys will see this past Christmas. But have a happy holiday. And let's go ahead and all that. And have a wonderful New Year's Eve. Make sure you guys stay safe. Make sure you don't drink too much and all that. But let's have a wonderful 2024. Till then, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Sweet smile